Oh no, I lost you guys. I'm so sorry. I pushed the wrong button. Come back. Oh. Oh dear. Now let's see if I can. Well, can't turn your butt. Way to go for a <laughs> typical Monday. Can you find me now? Sorry. Huh. Oh, you guys. It's a Monday. I guess we'll start again. <laughs> good morning. I'm Stacy from Creatively Stacy. Oh good, you found me. I pushed I pushed a button. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome to Monday morning fun times. Oh good, Jan, you found me too. <laughs> now my phone is showing up things really weird, so I've really done something to it, and half of my screen is gone. So you know what, ladies? Hi, Debbie. I've got this all messed up. Oh, well. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. Hope for the best. Hopefully when I turn it down, it'll work. Uh, ah. Anyways, let's let's see if I can do it. I don't know what, what I did. Can you see? Oh, dear. Now it's all crooked, isn't it? Oh, it wouldn't be a Monday. You're sideways, though. I'm sideways. Okay, I'm going to turn my phone. Okay. I think when I restarted, I did something. Now you're, it's weird for me to have my phone this way, but I, I can do it. Hold on. Let me get you down. Am I straight now? Am I, am I upright? <laughs> I want to have it so you, I know the picture's upside down because I can't paint upside down, but. Yes, it's definitely Monday. <laughs> um, am I am I still sideways, you guys? God, I love Mondays. Oh, I know it. Huh. I don't know what I did. Perfect. Oh, good. All right. Thank you. So sorry about that. Oh, one button and everything goes haywire. I'm glad you found me again. <laughs> oh dear. So, anyways, as I was saying. I did a gray and white background, kind of a barn board look. If you take the cow out, you can kind of see that. And if you decide you want to draw a cow, I'm doing it half off the page, so you do you. But So just kind of think of a heart, right, for your top. Come back in and just do a long face. Their noses I've seen all different ways, so you can do whatever you like. But just to kind of give you a, a starting point. I feel like all the lights are in my eyes now. I don't know what's weird today. It's Monday. <coughs> <coughs> now I'm going to have a coughing fit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Always keep your iced tea on hand. All right. So I'm just using a little angle brush. Got out some sweet pink. Let's start with the nose. Some cows have black noses. Some cows have creamy noses. Some cows have pink noses. I am not doing, and never will you probably ever see me do, never say never, but um, I will, I like to do whimsical paintings. I like to do imagined paintings. So, I don't try to have everything be exactly perfect. Um, this is not a realistic situation here, you guys. This is fun. And when I teach painting, that's what I like to teach people, is just have fun with it. Relax. Embrace it. It doesn't need to be perfect. There's too many things in this world that we try to try to be perfect, perfect. Art is not one of those things. Art is your interpretation. You roll with it. Do your fun however you want to do. And you guys, if any of you um, would like, um, I could always like do a sketch. I could do an outline, and you could you could print it out and trace if you want. If you would feel more comfortable, um, if you're just kind of getting into this and you don't feel like you could draw a cow. Could, I could always do that. The other thing you could do is you could always look up um, coloring book pages of a cow. And you could print something out like that and trace it. 
Um, so don't not paint because you think you can't draw. Because I'm going to tell you, you probably can. If you break it down into um, just basic shapes, if you think about just basic shapes instead of trying to think of the whole thing at once, I guarantee you, you could draw this. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's basically an oval, you know, it's not, here's an oval, here's an oval, here's an oval. It's, you just try not to get, think too hard. Roll with it. Uh, let's see. And just kind of do what you see in your mind's eye. It doesn't have to be. Precisely how it really is in the real world. This is art. It's your world when you're painting. That's how I feel about it. Hi, Christy. Good morning. Hi, Jennifer. That would be perfect to get me started. Yes, Jennifer. Try it. Why not, right? So I'm just doing the inside of the ear here. Basically another oval. The nose was an oval. You know, it's not... Don't get too stirred up in the Kool-Aid. That's all that pink I'm going to use for right now, I think. And while my brush is fairly clean and the light colors, I think I will do... Cows have pretty dark eyes, though, but I want to do some white around the eye before I do the eye-eye. So... And I'm just dabbing some paint out, and I'm actually wiping my brush off so it's not, like, all globbed up on here. But when I wipe it on the sides of my jar, I'm trying to get better about that. So I'm wiping it on my paint. And I'm not even going to care that I'm going to go right over those eyelashes. I can put them back in. When I did that gray, you guys, that was just me sketching out in my mind where things were going to kind of go. And, um... So when I and I normally just sketch it in create or in uh, chalk, but you guys couldn't see the yellow, and because I'm doing this on canvas and I wanted to keep it, and not just doing it in my journal where I wouldn't care if some of the yellow didn't come off as good. Um, well, the yellow will come off fine, but I, usually I would do a darker chalk so you guys could see better. So I just outlined it in paint. And you're going to see, see her come to life. Maybe I want a little in the ear too, I don't know. I'm not one to have things just one color. I tend to like things mixed up a little bit. So that's, that's me. Maybe we'll go around the nose a little bit. Looks kind of like a pig snout. I might bring that nose in a little. I think I'm going to. I don't know. Maybe if I did the nostrils black, what do you think? I guess it's too wide to be a pig snout. Yeah. See you. Then the next question is what color are we going to start with on the cow? I think I want to do more of that white right up the center. Because a lot of cows, not all, some are all one color, but a lot of cows have kind of a, a thingy up the middle, a marking. Maybe that's just cows around here, I don't know. <laughs> Who has cows can tell me. Do, is that a certain kind of cow that has the markings up the middle of the nose, the face? Or not? So I'm going to do different colors in here, you guys. So I'm just going to start... I'm just doing some strokes. Cows actually have fur. So we can do, we don't have, if you want, you can do long, smooth. You can do that. I'm doing more short, choppy strokes to give me more texture and to make it look more like fur. You see where I drew this little line up here was kind of a guide. Which is just kind of giving me direction as I go. So if you guys kind of have something in your head of how you want something to be, 
you can give yourself those little hints. Um, I would use either chalk, a light colored chalk, or um, you could use a, a, a watercolor pencil. That would, that would probably disappear real nice um, when you're just getting started. Or you can be brave like I am and just paint it with gray paint and roll with it. <laughs> Whatever. Good morning, Lori. I don't know if I said good morning to you. You guys, the, there's a delay here on your responses, and sometimes things scroll by while I'm painting and I don't see them. So if anybody else popped on and I didn't say hello, well, hello, and good morning to you. I would say uh, Monday morning coffee, but I've already had my coffee limit for the day. And I moved on to my iced tea. So I'm just kind of sketching out. I could have used a bigger. I guess we'll be painting forever if I keep using this tiny brush. I don't know why I grabbed such a little one. Let me wipe this off here. i get a bigger one. <laughs> You'll be with me all afternoon while I paint one little section of the cow here, right? I find it better if you get your brush wet um, and then wipe it off on a paper towel before you get started. So what do you think? Any suggestions on cow colors this morning? First cup and it's cold. <coughs> well, it happens to me all the time, Cindy, or Christy. I pour a cup of coffee and then I start doing other things and it's cold. I'm used to, from my waist, waitressing days, I could never drink hot coffee, never had time for it, so I always used to put an ice cube in it. I don't do that anymore, but... Debbie, oh, good morning, Debbie. Hey, so yeah, you guys, real quick, shoot me some colors. What colors do you think this cow should be? Any, any thoughts? Those of you that know how I paint, you probably have a pretty good idea of where I'm going. I'm just curious what you would do with your cow. Black Angus. Ooh. Those are big. Black Angus are big cows. I'm just going to grab a little gray here. We've got to have a little bit of calm in our picture, right? Give a little depth to the side of that. See, I'm just doing little jabs, little jabber jabs. Start shaping that out. I've seen all colors painted. You know where I'm going, Christy. You've been around me too long. I'm trying to give a nod with a little bit of gray, and I might go back and put some more in to calm it down if it gets too, too wild. I'm just kind of drying my brush off here on the bottom. A little shading. A lot of that will get painted over anyways, but... Let's have some fun, right? I got all sorts of sticks out to stir. I am using my chalk paint today. Um, I like to use my chalk paint on the canvases. I like that chunkier... Ooh, I'm almost out of this. My chunkier paints when I'm doing this kind of thing. A little water. Let's see how far we get. Here's a little bit in the bottom. You haven't lived until you had one chase you. She thought I was going to the barn to feed her. I think her baby was in there. Oh my gosh. Um, when we were little, my cousins had a dairy farm. They still do. And um, we put a, a halter or a holster on a cow and we were trying to walk it because they were getting ready to take it to the fair. 
Yeah, it took off and dragging down the road was what was going on there. Dude, that cow did not want to be walked. At all. The cow was not impressed. <laughs> that was a never again. Don't try to walk a cow. Now on this side, you guys, because I went off the page, you're not actually going to see the eye. I am mimicking or mirroring some of my painting just for consistency. But if I had to do it again, I might actually do it more even in half. But like I said, I'm just playing around with ideas, so we'll see. I'm definitely going to need more white, though. So I can blend, put some white on the page. Would you do this? Would you paint? Would you paint a funky cow, or would you? Uh, do you prefer more traditional paintings? You guys probably thought when you saw this background that I was going to do <laughs> something sweet and farmhousey. Well, it's kind of sweet and farmhousey. It's just uh, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit wilder than that. So now I did not wash my brush. I just grabbed a glob and this is part of my chunky, chunky painting. Should put some pink on my on my, uh, yeah, can't talk and paint. Put some pink on my palette so I don't have to, oh, I guess I don't have to worry about digging in there. I'm going to run out of it anyways, but. All right. I'm going to turn my, my, is my head in the way, you guys? Sorry. I'm going to turn my brush around so my point is out. I just want to soften up that edge. Got a little heavy with my purple, so if you do that and you don't like it, let it dry. And you can come back and paint right over it, which I may do in that area. We'll see. Need to get out my smaller my smaller brush again, probably. I think I will. Doop, doop. Let's try a round brush. See if that makes it happier. So with the round brushes, I got it wet. Wipe up your water so it doesn't drip down your page. D drip down onto your page. Tap it in your paint. Roll it off so you get your point back. And this actually might be... Um, where's my... painted several times before I get it to how I want it. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting there. If you're using one brush and it doesn't seem to be making you happy, try something else. No rules. This might be my Valentine's cow if I stick with these colors, right? So again, I'm just doing little strokes, and I can go back in after these strokes dry and add more if I need to break them up more, if I feel like it's too heavy in one spot, anything like that. But as you can see, by doing the little strokes is when you start getting the feeling of fur. I don't want any solid lines. I'll get up into this white some more too. 
I like the sweet and cute kind of cow. Adding colors, flowers, ribbons, and eyelashes. Yes, I'm going to add um, eyelashes for sure. Um, and then I wasn't sure. I, I do like the, the crown. Oh, my hand out of the way. The crown of flowers that they often do here. Or I even thought of putting something here. I'm not really, not really sure yet. But while the paint is still wet, I want to get in and blend blend colors so I don't have any solid lines from one color to the next. Everybody kind of flows together. You can do that after it's dry, but it's a lot easier if you do it as you go along. Are Angus like really furry? I don't know if they are. Up here where you can see what's going down. Starting to see it take shape. I keep right on going. When I get up here, I'm going to go the other direction. My brush is not. If your paint is drying on your plate, add a little water. Mine seems to want to be doing right now. Let's see if I got too much water in my brush. A little bit. There you go. Yeah, just try to keep it simple and enjoy the process. I really enjoy just laying the brush down, seeing where it goes, right? I'm grabbing some pink, I'm grabbing some purple, I'm grabbing some white. I'm grabbing a different shade of pink. I'm not worrying about washing my brush in between. And I'm just doing little furry strokes. They're big, but they're black. Yeah, I know. They are huge. Can't think of, I think, I don't know what the kind, there's a kind that's really furry. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna go right over that gray line that I did to draw it, you guys. Just get a little bit of something going on out just outside of that. Probably gonna have to end up digging out some more pink if I run out. We'll see how far we get with what little bits left in that jar. Might have enough. And like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna go right over those eyelashes. They were just a guide. I'll put them back in. I'll put them back in when I'm ready for them. That was just me thinking out loud while I was sketching. And anywhere I think it's too much of a line, I'm just going to go right ahead and blend it a little bit more. Well, it's still wet. Taking that color, whatever's on my brush, and rolling right along with it, right? I'm not a cow expert. Come on, there's got to be some farmers on here. I live in farm country, and uh, I should know these things, but I don't. Actually, the farmers are probably all out in the field right now. They're not sitting in their house painting, I guarantee you that. Although I bet you they wish they were. It's not too bad this morning. It's 38, and it's supposed to get... Supposed to... Get up to, I think, 48 today, so that would be really cool if it does. This one I'm going to go into 
that head there. We might end up going, actually I don't like it, I'm going to go the other way. See, I had my ear, I went into the head. I want the head to go into the ear, if that makes sense. So, we're going to just take that pink and come right back over it. Maybe some white. So I want the hair on the body to be in front of the ear. So if you decide you put something in and your paint strokes are on top of the other strokes, then that's going to bring it, it forward. It's going to bring it in front of um, whatever strokes are on top come to the front. So if you want it to be behind, then you want it to be behind the other strokes. So I'm just grabbing some purple and some white. And like I said, once this dries, you guys, I can go back and add layers. if I feel like I need more. Um, so when you're done with a painting, if you decide you look at it a couple days later, and I would give it a couple days because you want to kind of let it grow on you and settle. But if you look at it a couple days later and you're like, man, I really wish I would have done whatever, go back and do whatever. Go ahead. You can paint right over it. It's only paint. So I'm just doing the same thing I over here. I'm not worrying about my colors matching exactly. They're all in the same color family. Just going with the flow. Going with whatever uh, Bessie here is telling me, right? <laughs> I think all cows should be named Bessie. I don't know. I had a grandma Bessie. She was fabulous. But um, I think that's a, a good cow name. <laughs> so again, just little strokes, nothing too serious. Maybe she needs a haircut. I don't know. I don't think they cut cows' hairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, when my friends get on here that do have cows, they're going to be like, are you crazy? <laughs> Again, just blending paints while they're still wet. Bringing those colors together. The lighter pressure you use on your brush, the finer line you're going to get. The more you push on your brush, the thicker line you're going to get. So if you feel like you got no variation in an area, it's probably because your brush got heavy. Do some lighter strokes, put some thinner lines back in it. And remember the direction you're going. I'm trying to do a direction below the eyes and I'm doing a different direction above the eyes. I feel like I want the center to be just a little bit skinnier here. And that's the nice thing, you can adjust proportions as you go. In the whimsical world. Okay. Now we've got to do, we've got to do the center. I don't have enough of that dark pink. I'm going to mix my bright pink here a little bit. 
with my light pink, we'll just make a new, let's make a new color. Just to give me a little bit more. She's chunky. When the paint gets to the bottom of the jar and it gets old and kind of dried out, it needs a little love, a little extra stirring and a little extra water. All right, so now I don't have my light pink, which is okay. I'm just gonna take some pink and some white. I'm gonna start going up this nose where I put that white. And I'm gonna curve down as I get to this bottom. I still want the center to be a different color, um, like those cows I was thinking of in my mind, but I don't like it being all white. So, you can see I'm going up here. So my stroke is different, so I have, I have the side stroke, and this is an up and down stroke. I have the side stroke, and. The, that's given the shape of the face. It's given the direction. Um, and then I'm just tying them together by pulling some lines on these very edges. And the whole middle will all be up and down strokes. And I'm going to keep going with that pink and white. I don't know if I would put any purple in the center or not. I don't, I'm not feeling it at the moment, but that could all change. You know me. I got a little carried away there and my brush stroke went, went astray. So, you know, this will just pull it back out. Guys, give me some suggestions. What do you think a good cow name would be if I was to name her? What you got? Your best cow cow name <laughs> for a Monday morning. I like these paintings too because I don't have to keep brushing my brush so much. I'm not a good brush washer. I like blended colors. I like um, things that can just go together. As I get up to the top, I'm still going to go up and down in the center. You can see where there's a little purple on my brush still coming through. Or it's in my white or whatever the case may be. I'm still going up and down in the center, but as I get to the top, I'll start spreading out in the direction that I imagine the head is going. It's just doing a blending. paint's getting dry again, so I'm going to hit it with some more water. We'll start into the purple a little bit here too. Wild and crazy cow morning. Oop, there was a lot of water there. Quick. 
I'll go back and put that eye in in a second, you guys. I had too much water, and so my paint is running. So now I'm quickly whisking it away as much as possible. The other thing you could do is grab a paper towel and dab it off too. Kind of depends on, I don't know, depends on what I'm trying to get for an effect. And right now I'm just playing around with ideas and working with whatever she wants to do. I'm going to have to put in a little bit of an eye over here, too. She looks a little funny. <laughs> she looks a little funny. I'm going to have to figure out put in a little bit of an eye on this side. We will go back and do that in just a sec. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Again, going right over that little gray line that I painted on there to show me where I was going and softening these edges so I don't have a solid solid line between the center of her head and the side of her face. Oh, the dogs are getting crazy out there again. I don't know what they're doing, but you never know it with them. I hear you. You coming back to check on me? I can hear the pug coming down the hall. <laughs> and again, going in the direction of the shape of the head. Going in the direction of the shape of the head. Little strokes for the hair. Blending as I go while it's still wet. We're getting there. Yeah, that's the pug. She she makes a lot of noise for her little dog. get out some black and fix up her eyes and I'm gonna have to put oops I'm gonna need some white too because I got the white around it so let's start with the white before I get into the black may not be dry enough we'll see we'll see what happens it's probably not but To let that dry a little bit more you guys and come back with some more white on that but no worries <clears throat> yeah the pug will never sneak up on anybody you can <laughs> you can hear her coming a mile away I'm not one to fuss about long straight lines. I prefer dashes. Now, cows have really dark eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and give her really dark black eyes, and then I'll go in and put a little bit of um, white highlight in it to open it back up. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. Never seen a cow that doesn't have dark eyes. Good morning, Joanne. 
Hey, until the cows come home this morning. Playing. And it's only paint, you guys. If you feel like you got your eye got too whatever, let it dry. Paint right over it. A little harder to paint on the curves. I'm slowing her down. There we go. It's nice when you get into the whimsical of it too. You have a lot of freedom to do whatever your heart desires. I need a little uh, thinner brush. No, let me do this over here too. There. When I'm doing these, you guys, I have my hand completely resting on the canvas, and I'm going slow and doing a very controlled stroke. And if it all goes awry, I'll paint over it. But I am not trying to hold my hand steady in the air and do that, because rarely does that ever work out. So you want your painting wherever you're dragging your hand through to be fairly dry so that you can do that. Maybe we'll do a few babies in here. Can't talk and do eyelashes, sorry. Same thing when I'm putting on my own. I think she's got fake lashes. I think she's got some fake lashes. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Probably ought to paint her chin. I gotta finish her eyes up here, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Well, you wouldn't see any eyelashes over there, so I don't have to worry about that. I think this is dry enough to go back in with some more white. Not with that brush, it's got too much black in it. So I might have to let that dry a little bit more. We'll come back to her. Let's do her chin. I'm gonna actually start down here first. Just her body. I've got quite the mess going on here. There we go. And I'm just gonna take that purple, kind of, do a line. That's what happens when your paint starts getting dry. Don't 
this brush, this little brush again. Oh, I was going to back and make his, her nose black too. I forgot. Your eye likes repeating colors. So if you use a color somewhere in your painting, it is always nice to use it somewhere else in your painting. It just kind of ties everything together. Again, I'm resting my hand on the canvas. I'm just going slow, very controlled, drawing a line, just like you would with a pencil or a pen, right? Just, it's the same idea. Because it's whimsical, it does not have to be perfect. Give yourself some grace. I'm just outlining this. I didn't like this one is too thick. I'm going to blend that out. And that's just my personal choice on that. You can leave it that thick if you like it thick. Now we're getting somewhere. My Lily used to snore. I love the snoring. I know, I do. Oh, look what I did. Oh, no, I did that on purpose. Oh. Distracted by the pug. Um, I don't like the way that looks at all. Um, I love the snoring. I do. She lays by the bed at night, and she snores her little heart out. I fall asleep to her snoring every night, and I, I love it. We don't need a sound machine. We have a pug. Kind of wish I hadn't put the body on here at all, you guys. I might go back and that out with white. Eh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just make it more, more of a body. I don't know. I'll play with that. All right. Let me get a clean brush. Nice thing about having lots of brushes to play with. You can just get a clean one if they're not cooperating with you. Same thing I did up there. I'm going to do the purple... Her mouth will be a little bit smoother, not as hairy, I would imagine. So we'll go ahead and do smoother strokes here. I'm going to do the darker purple up here under her lip. And again, that is a shadowing choice, a shading choice, to make it seem like it's a little bit darker, right? Because it's kind of under her... Her little lip thing there. So you saw me just go painstakingly to draw that line and now I'm painting right over it. So if your line goes crazy and it goes down too far or something like that, you can fix it. No worries. And again, I like it to be varied in color. It's my preference. You could definitely do it all one color if that's your preference. But she wouldn't be a whimsical cow to me. I'm gonna, and I'm trying to paint in this curve. All smiles, all smiles in my paint strokes down here. Turn and bring this right around because as you know our cow is going to keep right on going right off the page so I'm just going to go ahead and add some color over here randomly when I get up here I'm going to go this way just like I did I'm going yeah. I can't 
campaign backwards and upside down. I'm going this way, the same way that it's going on, on this side of her face. And when I get up here, I'm going to go this way. And that's just bringing, bringing it all the way around that way. I do still have to go and fix that eyeball when it gets dry enough for me to work with it. And I'm not necessarily following the colors that I did on the side. I'm just grabbing pinks and purples and that's going to be whites and blacks in there because that'll be the eyeball. Don't put your arm in the wet paint. Keep your elbow off the table, Mabel. But it just makes a nice wrap around. So if you hang it in a hallway or something, um, your eye completes it for you. So it's kind of a nice little finishing touch when you're painting to go ahead and bring it around to whatever looks right to you. And I'll go back later, you guys, and, and touch this up. You can see in some areas my paint wasn't thick enough and I actually have canvas coming through like up in here. I like that. I like that texture. I like that look. But if you if that bothers you, you can take it out completely. I often leave some. I like I like the chunky feel, but um, it's completely optional. Whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna get a lighter pink going here again. This is not the whites of her eyes, you guys. This is just, they have big areas around their eyes. I don't know what they're called. I should write down these questions for the 4-H kids. They would know what I'm talking about. They will have all the answers. And we'll go back and put some more white in here too, you guys. I've probably said that 10 times because it's bugging me, but sometimes you gotta wait. A little white. If I decide to go back and do um, more with her eyes, I can just paint black on there again. But for now, for a rough draft, thank you, Jad, do what makes you happy, yep. And yes, the pugs are amazing snorers, they are great. I'll go back and play with her a little bit, but I just wanted to show you a whimsical fun, something you could do, and really just play with it and make it your own. You can really do a zillion things. I'll touch her up a little bit more, but that's the basics of how to do it. So if you try it, please post a picture or send it to me in Messenger. I'd love to see it. And uh, why not? Let's see if I can do this without messing up my phone again. I'm like scared to touch it now. <laughs> Thank you. I think she came out adorable. I, I do think I might adorn her a little bit, play with her a little more, but that's the basic shape. I don't know if I'm in love with her nose yet either. I, th I think I want to go back and put some black in there. She looks like a Betty. <laughs> Betty. I have a chicken named Betty. I have two chickens named Betty. I have a black chicken. We call her Black Betty. 
and I have a white chicken named Betty, and we call her Betty White. <laughs> Lots of Bettys in my house. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous Monday, and thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Um, if I get done playing with her today, I'll post a picture later um, if I don't get back to her. Sometimes when I let things dry and go wash off my brushes, I get into something else and I don't get back right away. But if I don't get back to her, I will eventually, and I'll, I'll post a picture when I get her done. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.